Hey everyone, it's your girl Shana J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I really do appreciate you being here. Now, um, I'm in my bedroom and I hope you guys don't mind. I don't know why you would, but a lot of people like to see the same thing every single time. Um, and you guys are used to me being in my living room, but I have to be in my bedroom because... And this is why I don't do videos in my bedroom. I like, I try not to get irritated, but it's hard not to because what was the point of that? But typically I try to film in the living room because it's further away from the street. My bedroom is literally facing the street. So I'm going to encounter a lot of that. I hope not too much, but it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Anyway, guys, so first and foremost, let me say this. Uh, this video is not going to be for everyone. Understandably, today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of content creators or fragrance reviewers don't talk about. We're going to be talking about classic fragrances. There's a reason why you don't see a lot of these kind of videos on YouTube. And it's for a very good reason. So I'm not like trying to talk trash or anything because even me, I'm guilty of this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people do deem these fragrances to be irrelevant okay now as someone who loves classic fragrances i find this to not be true but i could just speak for myself the reason why you won't see a lot of these kind of videos on youtube is because these videos typically don't do well they don't get a lot of views a lot of likes a lot of clicks a lot of engagement it's not gonna get you a lot of subscribers you know what i'm saying so it's understandable a lot of people that do uh youtube videos they do it because it is a hobby and it's something that they do enjoy but for a lot of people it's also a business and nobody's gonna put out videos that nobody's gonna watch or engage with because it just doesn't make sense for them financially so i completely understand that and i'm not like excluding myself from this majority of the fragrance videos that i do put out are considered popular fragrances videos that you guys want to consume i just wanted to put that out there so today guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys some classics that i have in my collection that i wear all the time i enjoy the hell out of these classics even more than the more modern fragrances these classics they just they just hit different for me anyway guys let's jump into these beautiful classics the first fragrance that i'm gonna start out with is romance and this one is by ralph lauren it's kind of hard to think about this one as a classic fragrance but in my head this is a classic fragrance it doesn't smell dated or anything like that and i think it's crazy because this one actually came out in 1998 so this one is actually over 20 years old i was introduced to this fragrance by my mom so this was her signature scent almost 20 years ago i would say I would always go in her room, spray it out, to go to school, or to just wear this one around the house. I just always wanted to smell like this. I thought my mom was the best smelling person in the world. Whenever she would come in from a hard day of work, I could smell this one lingering on her, and I just fell in love with this fragrance. One year, she decided to buy me a set of this fragrance, and I almost lost my mind. I was just so happy. Once I got my first real job i made this one my scent and whenever i would go to work i would get so many compliments i would get so many people asking me what i'm wearing i put so many people onto this fragrance it's not even funny now this is a floral fruity fragrance but to me this is more of a floral fragrance i don't really get much of a fruity vibe from this one i was kind of shocked to see that this one is categorized as a floral fruity fragrance it's dominated by rose, chamomile, ginger, we have oak moss, patchouli. I mean, it's just, it's such a pretty clean, light, floral, airy type scent. And what I love about this one is that even though it's a clean, fresh, floral type scent, it does really linger. It really does last all day. You wear this one to work, you will smell clean and fresh basically for the whole day. So yeah, this fragrance is definitely in my eyes a classic and I still wear it. I have two bottles of this one so I have my backup bottles because I'm not playing around. I love this one so much. This is Romance by Ralph Lauren. Okay guys, so the next fragrance that I have on this list is a miracle and this one is by Lancome. I took a shower this morning and I sprayed this one on and it's actually the reason why I'm doing this video today because as I was wearing this fragrance I was like give me one fragrance today that smells as good as this fragrance like it's hard to outdo this fragrance 
this fragrance was released back in the year 2000 so it is over 20 years old which is so hard to believe this was actually my signature scent back in the day when i was in college that i wanted to smell like this every single day in here we have lychee some white florals this one has the perfect amount of pepperiness or spiciness you also get that ginger there's a bit of woodsiness and the dry down is super complex like when you spray this one out it's bright it's fresh beautiful but as the fragrance starts to dry down it gets a little bit more warm and sensual it's just the perfect fragrance i also find that this one is perfect for a professional setting i will always love this fragrance i don't think it could ever get old i just love this one this is a miracle by lancome the next fragrance that i have on this list is 360 degrees and this one is by perry ellis I have backup bottles of this fragrance. I don't think I need it because I think it's impossible to go through like a whole uh, bottle of this fragrance because it is so long lasting. But, you know, I like to have backup bottles of the fragrances that I love with all my heart. And this is a fragrance that I, I literally love this fragrance with all my heart. One of the best smelling fragrances to ever exist. Like, it's not perfect, but it's perfect perfectly imperfect and i hope that makes sense it's probably not gonna make sense when i'm editing this video <laughs> it's a big white floral scent it's quite transparent it's also a bit watery there's a melon note here that i think is just so beautiful this fragrance is a bit sharp even though it's such an over-the-top type fragrance i just think it is just so perfect so everything that some people may dislike about this fragrance is what i actually love about this fragrance so yes it does start out very loud very sharp very in your face and even for a while you may find this fragrance a bit intolerable which is why i always say go light-handed with this fragrance you really could get away with only two small sprays of this fragrance if you want to just smell clean and fresh whenever i smell this one i always think about those old school shampoos it's the perfect scent and this is for sure a classic fragrance oh my god it's not a perfect scent but it's perfect i wouldn't want this fragrance to be anything else i even like the fact that it's a bit animalic in the dry down this fragrance is gonna last more than a day it just lingers and lingers and even after you take a shower or wash the clothes that you've been wearing it's gonna just stick to it it's that kind of fragrance i personally feel as though this is the best fragrance that ever came out of the house of perry ellis i don't think perry ellis was able to ever outdo this fragrance which is good and bad at the same time i think this is definitely the fragrance that put perry ellis on the map if you have this fragrance let me know what you think about this fragrance so the next fragrance that i have on this list is from the house of clinique and this one is called calyx now from what i understand this fragrance was originally introduced to us back in 1987 by a brand called prescriptives i don't have the prescriptives um edition i have the Clinique edition so I guess Clinique took over the fragrance but I do like the Clinique version it smells really really good I just got this bottle you would not believe how long I've been lusting after this fragrance I would say that the first time I tried this fragrance was probably like 10 years ago I was just browsing around in Macy's and I saw this little bottle in the Clinique section and I decided to try it out I wasn't going to because just looking at the bottle it kind of looked like something that would be like very vintagey I was just like literally afraid of the fragrance but before I left I decided to give it a try and I just could not stop smelling my wrist it was completely different than what I thought it was gonna be it has the most refreshing green fruity dewy tart type of scent this is like spring in a bottle it is just so good it is just so so good let me know if you've ever tried this fragrance let me know if you have it in your collection let me know what you think about this fragrance i'm gonna spray it out a little bit oh my god that's just amazing it's like mm, it's like green unripe fruits it's dewy sharp fresh sheer it is just so good if you're looking for the perfect springtime fruity green fresh dewy watery type scent this is it right here i mean i don't think this could be outdone whoa okay it is really really nice but i must say this i don't think it's blind by safe only because it is so unique okay
but I think this is just pretty and this is for sure a classic fragrance. The next fragrance that I have on this list is from the house of Avon and this one is called Haiku. Now this is probably my second bottle of Haiku. I've had Haiku in my collection for so many years and I think my obsession with this fragrance started when I was uh, in high school. I had an English teacher that used to smell so good. Now back then I for sure didn't know how to categorize fragrances or anything like that but I could tell you that even back then at like 16 or 17 years old I could tell that whatever fragrance my English teacher was wearing was a green floral fragrance. I didn't have the confidence or the balls to even ask her what she was wearing. She was a pretty scary, very intimidating woman. She was like so freaking scary, it's not even funny, but I really love the way that she smelled. Years later, even today, I still love green, fresh floral fragrances. And I would say, you know, many thanks to her because I think she's responsible. For my love of green fresh floral fragrances now this has to be one of my favorite floral green fragrances it's very fresh it's clean we have jasmine lily of the valley we have dewdrop it's musky now it does have that avon vibe it does have a little touch of that avon smell you know if you know you know but it does have that and for a while it kind of used to put me off but you can still smell the beauty in this fragrance. You know how a perfume is good. It's not perfect, but it's so good. You still want to wear it. That's what Haiku is for me. I absolutely love this fragrance. I also have the pink one. I think it's called Kyoto Flower or Kyoto Flower. Something like that. I also have that one. And that one is just as amazing. But there's something about this classic that I just really, really love. This is Haiku and it's from the house of Avon. The next fragrance that I have here is Pure and this one is by Alfred Sung. I think I'm going to spray this one on myself. Now I have a bit of a cold so I could barely smell anything. Okay, I'm smelling it. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is also a floral green fragrance. It's kind of hard nowadays to find a floral green fragrance. So I'm so happy to have these classics in my collection. And this is why I just appreciate them so much. Now this one came out in 1997, so it's been around for a while. But in all honesty, to me, this one doesn't smell dated. It does smell classic. You could just tell that this one came out of perfumery back in the 1990s. But to me, that doesn't make a fragrance smell dated. It just smells really pretty, really classic. It smells unique. Whenever you wear this one nowadays, you're going to get compliments because you're just going to smell completely different. And that's what I love with this fragrance. I know you guys are getting sick of me. Uh, saying that this one smells like lilies on ice, but really that's what it smells <laughs> But really that's what this one smells like it smells so good Oh, uh, so this is lilies. We have tangerine. I do get the cinnamon in here uh, But it's just a little pinch of it just to give the fragrance a little bit of warmth It's it's this fragrance is just so so good. It's so refreshing the perfect fragrance to wear throughout the summer throughout the um the spring months it's just, oh my God. I think this is probably the best fragrance from Alfred Sung. I mean, that's just my opinion. I think if you're into clean, fresh, soapy, green florals, you definitely have to add this one to your collection. It is just so, so good. This is Pure and it's by Alfred Sung. So the next fragrance that I have on this list is from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier and this one is called Classique. This is the Eau de Toilette. Now, if you follow my channel, you already know how much I love this fragrance. You already know how I feel about this one. It took me years to fall in love with this fragrance, but now that I'm in love with it, it I'm just totally obsessed with this one. This one actually debuted back in 1993, and it's an amber floral fragrance. I think this is just one of the most uh, unique, one of the most beautiful fragrances that I've ever experienced. This is not even typically a fragrance that I would gravitate to and that would explain the reason why I didn't like it when I first got it but to me this has just the most beautiful combination of notes and smells it's just gorgeous so this fragrance is like clean it's soapy it's warm it's sweet it's a bit spicy I mean there's just so much going on here 
Now, I don't want to go on and on about this fragrance, only because I talk about this one so much on my channel. So I don't want to bore you guys. It's another fragrance that my husband also loves. Whenever I wear this one, I notice he's always asking me about this one. He's always complimenting me when I'm wearing this one. And, you know, that makes it even better because when you're significant other uh admires the way that you smell that's such a plus so we both enjoy this fragrance together i mentioned that this is edt now i'm dying to try the edp i want to know if it's the same thing i want to know if they have the same scent or if there's something different about the edp if you have the edp let me know what it is that you absolutely love about it let me know if it's more on the vanillic side or on the soapy side the edt is more orange blossom heavy there's more of that soapy vibe and the sweet vanilla is kind of like in the background but it's definitely there the floral notes kind of pull more to the front for me in the order toilet version ah oh, it's so good the next fragrance that i have on this list is from the house of lalique and this is called lalique this is the eau de toilette guys let me apologize for my voice i'm a bit sick i'm not feeling sick but i have a uh, sore throat and no, it's not the C word. I got tested. I'm fine. It's just a little common cold that I caught from my daughter. Hopefully, I'll feel better. You know, you guys could give me some remedies on what to drink. Lemon and honey don't work for me. So if y'all could tell me what else works for a sore throat and whatnot. You know, I want to feel better. But anyway, guys, so this fragrance right here is pretty new to my collection. Uh, this one came out in 1992 and it's an amber floral fragrance. Now... First of all, this is a blind buy, so I didn't know what to expect of this fragrance. I saw a couple of reviews on Fragrantica, and I actually liked the negative reviews. So a lot of people were saying that this one was like clean, it's soapy, it smells like shampoo, it smells a little bit powdery, and I would agree with all of that. But honestly, while reading the negative reviews, I was like, I'm definitely going to buy that because yes, I want to smell like that. I don't mind smelling like shampoo and soap and a little bit of powder. So that's basically what this one smells like. Now, does this one smell vintage? To me, this doesn't smell vintage, but it does smell classic. It does have like a classic floral type of scent. It does smell like something that came out in 1992, but I don't know if I want to call it like vintage smelling. When I think of a fragrance that's vintage smelling, I think about like Oscar by Oscar de la Renta or White Diamonds by uh, Elizabeth Taylor. So to me, those smell more like vintage type fragrance. To me, this just smells pretty, it smells classic. It literally smells like what I just explained. Soap, shampoo, and a little bit of powder. Very clean, very fresh. There's a little bit of haziness to this fragrance. It smells really expensive. It just has that type of smell. Beautiful. This is Lalique or the Toilette by Lalique. If you have this one, let me know what you think about it. The next fragrance that I have on this list is really, really old school. This is, in fact, a vintage fragrance. This one is from the house of Elizabeth Arden, and this one is called Blue Grass. Now, this is a fragrance that I would highly suggest you not blind buy because it's just not the type of perfume you should go out there and blind buy. Even though I do like this fragrance, I have to be honest and say that this one is a vintage fragrance um that does smell a bit vintage but not too vintage to the point where i could not wear it or i'd be uncomfortable wearing this one it's a very aldehydic soapy slightly spicy type fragrance it does smell like a hair product i always describe this one as um smelling like blue magic i mean if you don't know what that smells like i'm sorry but it just kind of smells like that to me if you like soapy fragrances that smells a little bit vintagey that smells a little bit like hair product that has a little bit of spiciness there's a little bit of kick there but not too much just the perfect amount just to give the fragrance a bit of interest i would say the next time you go to the elizabeth art encounter just spray this one don't be alarmed by the opening of this fragrance it's gonna throw you off i promise you it threw me off but check your wrist in i would say five minutes and you'll see what i'm talking about okay guys so i have so many more um Fragrance is here, but I'm going to cut it down. I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm going to show you guys the last fragrance, which is from the house of Paul Sebastian. And this one came out, I believe, in 1995, and this is for sure a floral fragrance. Oh my God, this one smells so good. A couple of years back, I had this huge obsession with soapy fragrances, as I still do. I remember one day I was investigating, I was on Fragrantica, I was on Makeup Alley, I was on all these websites, based on all these websites. Every single review that I read were all positive. Everyone was gushing about the compliments that they received while wearing this fragrance. I was like, I have to try it. 
especially when I looked at the, the price, I was like, let's see what it's all about. And I was like, oh my God, they're absolutely right. This is a beautiful white floral scent. It smells so good. I have two bottles of these. I have this one where the bottle looks clear and I have another one. I'm so mad that I didn't take it out of my drawer, but it has like a frosted bottle. Okay, I decided to just go ahead and get it. So this is what I'm talking about. So one has more of a clear type transparent bottle, while this one is on the frosted side. Now there's a little bit of confusion with the fragrances. I was able to pick up on the subtle differences between the two bottles. This one, you could definitely smell the white florals and the light fruitiness that we have in this one, while this one is a bit more musky. For me, I tend to wear the one with the less musk. Now, the other thing that I do notice is that this one does last longer than this one. So it's kind of hard. I keep both and sometimes I wear them together and smell all clean and fresh and soapy. If you're looking for a beautiful classic white floral scent, definitely try this one. Beautiful everyday casual type scent. Just throw on, get mad compliments, you know, beautiful classic fragrance. I love this fragrance. This is Casual by Paul Sebastian. Well, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Get me to a thousand likes on this video if you can. I would really appreciate it. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this one. Some of these fragrances are literally older than I am, but I cannot help what I love. And that's just it. I love what I love. Okay, guys, so bye. That's it for me. I'm going to go get some rest, drink something for my throat. But anyway, guys, I love y'all so much. See y'all in the next upload. Bye.